We're here at the railway in Mels. But why's the pub sign got a picture of a Viking boat on it, rather than anything connected with trains? Well, we need to dig into the past when the present pub was built 80 or so years ago. Workers made a discovery, which it's believed could be a Viking boat, but had to cover it up so it didn't delay building work. Hopefully, if it is what we think it is, then we may be able to um, think about a proper excavation. But right now, we're only doing an investigation by drilling down to take samples. We're not digging anything up. This weekend, the mystery could be solved thanks to a team of volunteers and archaeologists, something regulars at the railway are eagerly awaiting. I think a lot of local people uh, are interested to know what happened and whether or not it is an important feature or not, whether it's just a, an old fishing boat or whether it is actually a Viking ship. We heard about it last time we were here and it's something that we're quite interested in. There's a lot of Viking um, place names and things like that around the Wirral. So it's just brilliant for the local area and I think it'd be great um, for anyone who's interested in archaeology because it is a massive, massive find. Today, at another site, a team of explorers are being given a lesson in using a Dutch auger. It's a sort of hollow drill that takes samples of the earth below the ground, where the Viking boat is suspected to be. We're doing it in a way that won't will cause a minimum amount of damage to whatever's down there. We know it's an ancient vessel. We think it's very well preserved because it's in this waterlogged blue clay material. But we don't want to expose the vessel so the bugs can get in and start to degrade the material. Hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll find where the boat is and we'll follow the course of the, the boat. Once we've got the samples, we will analyse them back in the uh, laboratories. And what we'll do, first of all, uh, we'll get the, the material, the wood, uh, carbon dated to see just how old uh, this, this boat is. An information point's been set up in the railway for those interested in the project. It's fascinating to think that Vikings once lived in our region and more clues lie below the patio of a pub car park. Rob Yaskowski, ITV News, Mel's.